to Ancient for MIBR facing up against the Young Sharks. Yeah, a lot on the line here, as you just mentioned, for MIBR. Technically, this being week four, they're still also being week five. Um, there is a bit of wiggle room left, but it might have to come down to RAM difference as well in the end. So winning dominantly is really the key here for MIBR. Yeah. So much on the line here. Yeah, we spoke about how the, the best of ones can be a little bit coin flippy, a little bit uh, difficult. That being said, we do have two back-to-back -back best of ones. So at the very least, uh, th there's an opportunity to claw back if the first map doesn't go quite the way that you would have wanted. Doodle is already in hand. Only problem being is that drop, in fact, dropped on the site. And with that, bomb site compromised completely. Smokes are up. And what do you do now? Bomb planted. You have to regroup as a team. Try to retake this bomb site. But there's no kit in MBR's hands. The time is definitely against them here. They have to just try their very best. Get their bodies out there. Put them on the line. And post plant setup from Young Sharks is so good to try and find an opening here. Great Molly to deny a potential defuse. Perfectly timed. And there's just no way. Yeah, time continuing to tick. They do get a good chunk of kills. Dog, the only one still standing. But too far away of the bomb. Have to just uh, give it a run. Armor to be saved. And this still round will go the way of the Young Sharks. I'll be happy with that first one. It's going to be an extra little bit of cash available for them. Invest in. Hopefully turn this into a little bit of a runaway. But we mentioned a little bit in the pre-show. You know, pistol rounds can be a little bit coin flippy. Can be a little bit hard to predict. And MIBR going for the second round force. Some teams have yeah. opted into this. Uh, it's becoming a slightly more common affair. But I for must sure. admit, I'm not the biggest fan. No, it's it's very tricky, especially with them, them doing this on CT. If they do end up losing this, their economy is going to be in shambles. And uh, uh, Ancient as well is a map where you kind of want to limit the space that T-Side is getting. We're already not off to a great start. A lot of damage dealt upon drop and uh, Safi tagged as well, as well as uh, the fifth man falling. Okay, it might be our here trying to hold on to the few weapons that they did invest into like we said right very uncommon it can be very risky to put that much of a spend in after losing the 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 first pistol but if they can make this a little bit expensive at the very least they'll be happy with that the sharks still have so much time to play with as well so not feeling the pressure just yet they know they have a numbers advantage you know drop should be relatively low so to pivot off of that not too much of a difficult task Who's coming up? Three men strong here upon that E site. But mid is completely open. You can actually see that drop is about to wander off of B as well. Try to maybe group up. And then put the gamble up on that one site. Oh, actually, this is not a better position. I do kind of like this. So in case people were to take very deep mid control. Mm -hmm. He could potentially be able to punish that. Of course, he is low. And yeah, this is painful. They gambled upon the wrong side. B is being taken. Even with only 10 seconds left, no problems there. Yeah, I mean, I think for MIBR, it was just a case of, all right, we're going to go chill on B, or rather on A. If they come here, we'll deal with it. If they don't, we get to keep our weapons. That's uh, the best that they're going to be hoping for. However, it looks like uh, sharks might just be on a little bit of a hunt here. Smell the blood in the water. Finally that uh, analogy makes sense because sharks i've been saying that for days and i've been waiting for the opportunity to actually have a team that has something to do with sharks Ooh. a cheeky hunt down and well we'll get two more depths drop is one hp but he is able to save it from us here in the process but yeah, at the end of the day, it is a conversion here found here for the young sharks. Uh, off to a very good start. I'm amazed that Safi dies to bomb there. I didn't realize that he was that close to the radius. That's 
that's ridiculous. It's ancient. Um, <laughs> that's uh, that's what it is. Some yeah. some maps have a very tricky bomb radius, ancients being one of them. Um, yeah, and on the back of that, it's gonna be uh, a very rough buy. No, oh, look at this knee damage already across the table here. But I'll be I'll continue to push. I'll be too much. Oh, I, I appreciate the aggressive push. I appreciate the attempt at running it down, but Sharks were ready for it. They had the midsection completely locked down, waiting for that push to come through. The enemy team on an eco, they're on the CT side. Chances are they're going to try and push you. Young Sharks are letting them make this way too expensive, though. The bomb's yeah, still not down. To, yeah, they start to overthink the situation a little bit of how close could the CTs be, and in fact they are. That smoke about to fade. Now there is cavalry here. There is enough help. Oh, and while I see that, Doc needs to be a bit careful because he's quite low, but he does stand his ground. So they survive, but only with two players. That is, as she just said, incredibly costly. Yeah, reinvest is going to have to come through quite heavily here. Thankfully, after winning three rounds, they've still got some cash available to them. They can, you know, string together a pretty damn good buy. But if they lose this round, and this is where the problem comes in. Generally speaking, if you've kept the first three rounds clean, even if you lose the fourth round, the first gun round for your enemy, you can still buy up in the next. But because it's been so costly so consistently, if they lose this round, MIBR are poised to snowball. They've got the AWP online as well, so they're going to try to lock this down. Already, Safi, with the opening kill. The follow-up is good. Oh. That was beautiful. The counter flash into the site, completely blinding the sharks there. And they have no no choice but to just fall back. What do you do now that you are two players down? It's only them two. They do have the bomb. But there's just no control. And around slipping away from them. You gotta wonder if they're just gonna try to hold on to these weapons, because as mentioned, the economy is in a dire position, and to try and bring this back from two versus four, damn near impossible. But it looks like they're just gonna walk straight into exits crosshairs here. That's a matter of being patient. There we go. That's the first, and oh, his teammate might not even have to help out. Maybe just a better, better time to save. Then again, can you hang on? That is always the question. But if he if he does manage to save his AK, there should be enough money in the bank for Young Sharks here to once again buy up. It's a little bit rough that they did lose the AWP there as well. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to recollect that knowing that the orp is holding that angle there's no way in hell so maybe a little bit disappointed with that i would have preferred to have seen them try to hold on to the two guns maybe chill out here towards their spawn and keep that into the next round awp would have been pretty game changing into this round where they have so little to work with but unfortunately hindsight is 2020 mibr are going to be looking to the future feeling very good about how that round went minimal casualty minimal reinvest and like i said right the potential for that snowball at least sharks were able to hold on to the one ak so they've got a little bit coming into this one but again losing this round puts them in dire straits look at this immediately quick aggression back on the table for mrbr so they have a lot of control when it comes down to that b bomb site not as much over towards A, but this is, you know, you, you take space on one part of the map, maybe leave something else a bit more open, but we do have additional um, defense coming in on this A bomb site. So they're not completely leaving A open, but very much taking this into consideration of what the potential plan could be. And look at how far Exit has already pushed up. I will say I love the early map control from MIBR. They want to cut off these rotations as quickly as humanly possible and make sharks 
very uncomfortable. And that, I mean, they do seem to be achieving that. But look, the stack is moving in towards mid. Exit could be overrun here. He's good for the first. And his teammate backs him up. And it's, oh my goodness. That was literal firing squad. Damn. I mean, the setup already early on from MLBR was so good. Taking the space across the map and they sort of just pincered them into one part of the map. Able to lean them right up. And this is quite tough. Now, two rounds lost in a row. Time for MLBR to build the bank. And, well, time to eco on the side of Young Sharks. MLBR about to even out the scoreline here, like you said. Equalizer. That again kind of accentuates the power of the pistol. You get that, you can springboard yourself, but it can so easily be taken away from you. Exit from Donut. Three easy sprays. Peerless, you're not going to get to play by play another round. <laughs> no, it's just over before you blink. That's how fast it goes. Also, the, the last two shots just hit with USPs. They just don't care. Even if you run out of bullets, you know, we, we got the better aim. Um, but, you know, eco round, anti-eco, I'll give them that. Now Young Sharks back with the 8k squad on the table. He's being dropped for one another here for MRBR. But thus far, flow looks good, especially now with the fire rounds coming into uh, contestment. He's been able to deal with it well. Oh, drop. So much damage done onto Doc there. The HE to finish it off. That's devastating for Sharks. One player down already. They forced into this. They have so little to work with. Almost no utility left on board. And they're just getting torn apart. Oh no. Just one by one. They keep falling. At least that is one kill back. But Insane, he just secures it. Adds another one to the list of deaths. Now what do you do now? No util, just have to try and swing, bear aim. But four players is one hell of a job, one hell of a task to clear. And MRBR, now this is the flow that is going. Of course, MRBR, we know the statistics on this particular map are insanely good. I think this is their most played map. If not also their most one map. Um, so I'm not too surprised to see this clean uh, cleanliness coming out of MRBI. It's just insanely sharp. I look forward to a Tech 9 rush. And it better... No, it's not a rush. It's a default. I was so busy looking at the guns. I forgot <laughs> to look at the map. Man, I always see Tech 9s and I get excited. And then it's not a rush. And then I just feel like I've been robbed. Uh, not quite the firepower, not quite the pace just yet. But they are sort of lurking around Speedway here. Just waiting for the smokes to disappear. Oh, but... Oh, at least, okay. They do get a, a double over here, which could open things up towards this B-bomb side. But Safi is already here with the AWP. And alongside Insaney as well. Short as a smoke. Technically, boost over it, or just use a use a Those free upgrades are going to potentially make some magic here. This bomb's going to get planted fairly easily. I'm just going to have to back up and hold the line. This is a winnable round, and it started off looking like it would have been a complete disaster. How do MIBR mount this retake? Flash will come through. No, it was smoke. Sprays across the table, and it keeps going back and forth. 1v1 duel, Ooh. but no, it is Doc that wins it out. Manages to find an AK just before the final fight. And that ties up the scoreline. You know what? It was a, it was a mini Tech 9 rush. Three people <laughs> rushed in towards a bit, Jaguar. A bit delayed, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, you didn't get everybody involved in it. But you got enough involved in it. They only lose two. They pick up some free guns. Head on over to the site. And it's the... I'm not going to say the easiest hold of their lives. But they make it work for themselves. They're going to be feeling very happy with that one. There has to be the confidence booster. Now Guffalo as well. 
pawn an orb. So bring the heat, need to bring the firepower. I do love this deep mid control. Something they have been lacking a couple rounds ago. Oh, but this is an outrage. Your orb is being taken out, but I guess both orbs get taken out. Immediate trades once again, but now MRBR seems to be a tad bit stronger. Two player advantage now, as it is just tags upon the site. Or nearing the site. It's a series of 1v1s across the board. But MIBR come out on top of it. Chances of uh, Sharks being able to bring this one back. So low. Swings the wrong way. I mean, you know what? Even if Sharks don't win this round, that extra kill? I'm not going to be too upset with that. Gonna make a run for it. Try to get towards B. And what is the approach going to be of MRBR? They're gonna stick together. Looks like Drop is very much still busy with mid. Now he does have a fast rotate. Oh, not quite the timing. Just a tad bit too late. So that means that Drop can plant the bomb here. Of course, 13 HP, but it's not impossible. MIBR had no idea for the longest time. Oh, I thought he would like tuck in, maybe boost up onto the box and wait. But unfortunately, not to be the case. However, I mean, bomb down three kills onto the MIBR players. That's so much damage done. Extra little bit of cash available for them. It's not a hell of a lot, but it might just be enough to get them something workable into the next round. And MIBR bring themselves to one round away from confirming, at the very least, an evened out scoreline at the half. If they win yeah. this one, they get to six. Sharks down onto pistols. That's a lead at the half. Yeah, MIBR is... Um, I think their momentum is still on their side. Uh, them being able to have uh, the, the win streak earlier on and now relatively fast getting back into the flow again. Their economy is in a very good spot to just sort of ride out until the end of this half. So they don't necessarily have to be worried, at least on that end. But they still have to bring the rounds to the table. And thus far, Abdul being won by the Sharks. Great boost up there. And the adjustment just wasn't available for Safi. Taking that offline. It is recoverable, so they at least can still have that available to hold down some of these lines of battle. The sharks look to change things up, regress, move in. No shot. If you get another kill here, if you win this duel for a second time, drop pulls away. Uh oh. Okay, I had to rely uh, on the smoke there, but still alive. Not too much damage taken. Oh, look at this. MRBR. Gotta go in and investigate a bit. The back of that flashbang. Completely blind. More members fall on the side of the young sharks. They try to bounce back. But now it's just the offer left. Does have the bomb in his hands. We'll go for the plant. But this is not easy to hold your ground right now with an orb. You have to get very close and personal. You have no idea how many or where they're going to be coming from. And yeah, the hopes for a no scope, but it's not quite connecting. Well, the first to die in that round was the AWP. And the last to die was also the AWP. Random little tidbit that I happened to notice. But there it is. Another round on board for MIBR. Six rounds here. Confirming themselves, at the very least, a tied up scoreline. And the Sharks would love to get another two rounds. Yeah, four is definitely workable. In MR12, four is like, four is the MR15-6. If you get four on board, you're going to be really happy going into the next half. Or at the very least, you're in with a chance. But to get an extra two rounds here would be potentially game-changing. However, the force up into this round will leave them in a very tight spot in the next. It trades across the table, but continues to be. Now, the rest of the young shows being patient. A lot of early smokes. 
prevent them from getting that map control. But on the set of MBR, they too lost numbers. So to be careful, maybe not to overextend, because then things go from bad to worse. And drop falling off here is the right call. Don't want to give over anything unnecessarily. This is still very much anyone's game, but look at how MIBR have fanned themselves out. Yes, okay, we will see Safi and Drop kind of connect up with one another. <gasps> if Exit had carried on along his trajectory, the potential backstab could have been amazing. Now he's left his two teammates completely alone towards this B site. Oh, but that's such a crucial kill to be hitting. Two on two now on this side. Bomb plant a spotted leg sticking out and will be killed. And now there is a lot of pressure. There's only 25 seconds. The first duo won, but the <laughs> nade will become the better of him. Ah, oh, seven to four. Last round in the half here for Sharks. Okay, still have cash available for them. So they'll, uh, they'll be feeling all right about that. I haven't been able to get too much done. A couple of players have been putting up some numbers here, but just consistently getting sat back down round after round. Safi's been fantastic with a lot of these opening duels. If you can keep that up here, maybe they'll secure themselves that eight. This time, no deep smokes. And instead, Young Shark can. Take a bit of a peek into middle, but it seems that is not quite where they want to head. Once again, everyone grouped up towards this B bomb side, ready for an execute, it seems. So I've already spotted out over towards B, so they know that they can call in for the reinforcements, but no movement just yet. They know how sharks like to play the map. They know that pulling over the rotation too early could be their ultimate downfall. Now we're going to see a little bit of movement potentially start to come over. The problem is MIBR haven't done a lot of proactive information seeking, but now as the exec starts to come through, rotation will have to follow. Oh, this is great. So immediately one Young Sharks drop a bunch of util. There is counter, but... You would expect that flesh would have been perfect. Only problem being that it blinded them as well. Trouble up ahead and oh no! People fall like flies on the side of MIBR. Now bomb being planted. A two on four retake. What do you do? Because there's still so much util left on the side of the sharks. And there's a player to be in every corner. Even a wraparound slowly to come as well from mid. This is just so incredibly tough. Young Sharks make it five. Slowly inch closer, but can they close it out? Can they get back? Find out after the break.
175 half here in our first best of one of the evening and it's in favor of MIBR here on Ancient. The Young Sharks, they have what it takes to bring things back into their control. They'll have a shot here on the CT side. They have to make some magic here. It all starts with the first pistol. Yeah, MIBR had a bit of a slow start, but once they picked up the pace... Things were looking very bright for them. But still, Young Sharks not too far off. And especially with this pistol, they could very well uh, make the difference. Now, this is uh, a strat I don't usually get to see on, uh, on Ancient. They are going to go with a full-on train right through middle and wrap around through CT to overwhelm the Sharks. And thus far, it seems to be working pretty damn good. I mean, Doc lost one left alive. Good for one. Make a second one out of it. Can make a meal out of this. I don't think that's to be the case. You investing a little bit of util in here just to try and confirm this kill. Make sure that uh, no resistance can be found. For Doc, I mean, there's really not much to be done here. Investment into the decoys. Have to uh, have to respect it. Well, that, that uh, there are certainly a bunch of extra kills. Maybe even more. But, ooh, okay, well, the <laughs> exit brings that to an end. I thought Sappy for a second was on the way to knife, but all good. MIBR, bomb plant, and money now in the bag. And, well, Young Sharks, um, they too, on the CT side, uh, like a bit of a, a force buy. Yeah, still not a fan. <laughs> but maybe they can uh, make it sing for them. I do have a, a scout in hand. I want to see if that can make any meaningful connection. Obviously, MIBR, off the back of winning that round, they've got more armor than they know what to do with, so... It's going to take a little bit more to get the full value out of the scout. But it could be devastating. Full on rush. But it's been shut down. And with that, very crucial weapons and... Utility lost in the process. Even more damage dealt, but this is a very nice setup. So Tox at least was able to get that one kill going. Technically still a free on free. They uh it's just they want to get aggressive. They know that the Zany is here. Oh, that's a very dirty tag through the smoke. But still standing. I see this is the thing about the, the high risk investment. Because if it pays off. You're absolutely laughing. If BRG is able to pick up one of these, if he's able to recover one of the weapons that have been dropped, they're going to be feeling so hot to trot on that one. The HP is so low here for two of the MIBR players that even with inferior weapons, it won't even take a headshot. Just a stray bullet will give you the numbers advantage. They're going to have to be perfect here. drg has got a great angle, but surely they clear him. There we go. Follow-up kill has been found. Still a two-on-two. Two. Drop three positions into Donut. I think this is great. They know that the Sharks have limited amount of weaponry and utils, so this position for a post-plant often works out really well in scenarios like this. Just have to wait at a timer. And then you can have exit be a bit of the bait sitting in towards long, maybe make a bit of commotion, but well, perhaps the first player to be found, and that means troubles out in paradise. Gaffalo with a scout seems to be uh, looking quite good, but there's no kit, no time for the sharks to get the defuse going. Now, see if it will be. <laughs> maybe you don't invest so heavily in the weapons. Maybe you ensure that you do have. Maybe they did have at the start of the round. I'll be honest with everybody, I did not check. So maybe they did have and they lost it somewhere on the map. Which would be devastating in and of itself. But they do manage to hold on to two Galils. They managed to completely decimate the entirety of MIBR's full buy. So what would have been a bonus is a full-on reinvest. So in that regard, yeah. Sharks are going to be feeling pretty damn good with that round. Yeah, that makes this round up to come pretty, pretty equal. As far as weaponry and the utility goes. No timeout being used here by MABR. Of course, kind of feeling...
the breaths of the sharks in their necks. Like, there is definitely a gap for them to work with, but some of these rounds, yeah, perhaps a bit too close for comfort. A timeout coming through well needed. I have to readjust how they're going to be taking this next round, knowing that they're going to be on the knife's edge here. Yeah? If they lose this, sure, they still have a great lead, but Shark start to catch up, but it looks like it's going to be another aggressive pop straight through mid. First player taking down. A is free for the taking. Well, that certainly is noise being made. Surely the Sharks should have somewhat of an idea, but relatively far away. Now Tog's the only one kind of close. But I think with this investment and the money being so low right now on the Sharks, you've already lost a player as well in the process. This is just, yeah, a round that you kind of have to give up. Have to just maybe try again the next round. That's at least an upgrade found, which is really nice. If you can hang on. Ooh, they can escape. Just have to make sure you're running as far away as possible. <laughs> oh, you channeled his inner penguin there. The happy feet came through. That is a really old reference, by the way. Like, I don't even know if everybody in chat would even get that. But, uh, it's a great movie. It's really good. You guys should check it out. Child MIBR gonna be Child happy? Things. Hell yeah. <laughs> Double digits on board here on our first map. And they're barely even breaking a sweat right now. Yeah. The confidence is really shining through. Insane E14 kills, exit 15. Sefi on the AWP as well, 2KD. It's like, what more do you want? This squad is on fire. So late at night, I nearly started singing Adele. But I stopped myself. <laughs> Very proud of myself for uh, maintaining at least some semblance of composure here. Look at this flood. Like, not even flood util. Just, like, overwhelming util towards mid. Sharks know that if they let MIBR take that space, they're in danger. So instead, they've completely left A unchecked. Yeah. It's just Togs who is sitting in Donut to get smote off. And now, there's nothing to do. Rotating player already into CT, sure. But MIBR have a lot of space. Now, they don't necessarily have to warm up on the side just yet. And this is a bit tricky. A player so far pushed does get one kill. But it gets traded, and now this side might still get compromised because the smokes and the mollies are not going to keep up for that much longer. And now the CTs are here. Yeah, the potential lurk activation could be phenomenal, though. Ooh, HE kill. Love that. A side relatively open, but Doc is still standing. Not for much longer. And the last line of defense here is Togs, and here's that lurk that I was waiting for. Bam. Easy round for MIBR. Yeah. Really nicely done. Yeah, so immediately picking up the pace here. Young Sharks being in, in a spot where they, they want to get aggressive, but they're very hesitant to do so. And then often it comes uh, way too late into the round. In this case, costing... Uh, the A bomb site already being compromised. So there was still a good shot of them being able to retake it, but yeah, in this case, not quite working out. Oh, well, we're back to our mid battles this time, though. It is uh, won by MRBR continuing to put the pressure upon the map, but as soon as mid has been taken, they immediately leave. They continue to go on to the core of the mission. Seems to be B-side for the time being, but Smokes will delay it for, the, for now. Great start to the round already. And this is what I was saying in the previous, right? Mid, MIBR, it's their absolute playground. And they get so much value out of it. Now with the player advantage here, looking to inch towards B, but this aggressive AWP... Could be a hit or a miss. One, two, swing. One, two, swing. And the AWP is offline. So 
footsteps certainly are heard here by dog, but there's so many faces. And they appear on your screen all at once. Ah, uh, it's a very famous saying, it's teamwork makes the dream work, and teamwork certainly is present here for MRBR. It's just all so clean. This is devastating for sharks, because they haven't won a single round on their CT half yet. It's just been nope. the MIBR show from start to finish. And you gotta, you just gotta hate that for them. Togs at least gonna do a little bit of damage here. Takes away one of the guns, but that's all he's gonna be good for. Would have wanted to hold on to that weapon, but unfortunately, going to be denied the opportunity. Limited cash left. It's map and series point for our first best of one. And the Sharks have so little to back them up. It's going to take nigh on a miracle to come through on this one. They've got to keep that pressure up in mid. Because MIBR just have free reign from start to finish. I want to see Sharks take that mid control, push through, and wrap around. And I think that if they can crunch, it might be the thing that turns it around. Peekaboo action and now caught in the midst of the act. Uh, now two opening frags here for the Sharks. Make it free. Immediately picking up the pace. Shutting we are down. Yeah, and now they're just completely all across the map. Not quite being able to trade one another anymore due to the lack of numbers. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a free orb for the Sharks as well. Thank you very much. Oh, man. Five. Oh, and they do! Oh, that is devastating for MIBR. But I do love when um, when teams prove me right. That mid control, <laughs> such an important pivot piece. But here's the thing. It took so long for them to do that. MIBR is still on map and series point, And there's no way they allow them to do that again. so much wiggle room here for MRBR, you know, if they don't close it out right now, they have so many more chances in order to do this though. The Sharks just can't afford to make a single mistake anymore. And of course this is the best one, but at the end of the day, each and every single matchup counts. That's far so good though, two opening frags once more. that mid control going and immediately separating MRBR so they have to slow it down in order to regroup. Shark still in with a chance here. Again, that mid control, that mid prior coming into fruition beautifully for them. Now they have to hold the line. Some very tight angles held here, waiting for someone to peek around the corner. Doc flashed out, but his teammate is there to back him up. And he'll clean it up. The last kill. One more round for Sharks. One more stay of execution. One more opportunity to take this to, dare I say it, Vilas, overtime? Well, it could be. Right now, MRBR is running out of money. But this round certainly will have to be an eco. Maybe a deagle at most. So that is... Well... Unless something really insane happens going to be eight at least for the Sharks. Oh, I would love to see that, even against pistols, but still as horrifically as ever. Not backing down, not shying away from opportunities, and continuing to take that big Bearing man, obviously, all oh, rough shot there. Uh, still an anti-eco, so we do expect them to come out on top of this one at the very least, and fairly cleanly as well. Haven't lost a player yet, and Safi's going to be the last one left alive. Bomb in hand. A plant would be nice. And, I mean, he doesn't know this, but the entirety of Sharks is over towards B. Pivoted yeah. towards A. There's a chance he could get bombed down, but seems unlikely. But this is really nice, Sharks winning this clean. But of course, they still have to get four more.
I've managed to get three. Cornwall is certainly not an impossible task. I do find it funny that literally the round after I said they haven't won a single round, they're like, you know what? Hold my beer. <laughs> Let's do it now. <laughs> <laughs> Better late than never. Very true. Look at this. Once again, very heavy on the utility here towards the B-bomb site. Denies entry for the time being here for MRBI. And that was a beautiful counter flash. Insaney, completely blind, but plan still sticks around. MRBL commit to this B bomb side. Thus far, so good. But the defense is sort of trying to corner them towards the main entrance of B. They continue to tag up the defense, and now things are starting to look a bit dire. Play it down. Buffalo low. Stuck behind smokes. Give up mid that round, Velas, and unfortunately, it cost them dearly. Last player left alive, and Safi will deal with it. Quick sharp. 13 to 8 in our first best of one of the evening. MIBR 